many of you guys have asked me that what is the complete roadmap for a blockchain developer what are the skills you need to have to call yourself blockchain developer okay so before i jump straight away and start explaining about all the tools and software which you have to know to call yourself as a blockchain developer there are a few things you have to know you have to understand that what type of blockchain developer do we have in the industry right this moment and according to that the pay and the salary is different okay so generally the core blockchain developer what they do they exactly work on the architecture of the blockchain like how the protocol will behave what kind of consensus layer it will follow how the hash will generate it, how the transaction will happen how the validation process will happen on the blockchain so all the architecture things that designed by the core developer okay it's nothing related to the front end and back end they work on the protocol layer the architecture okay right now we have different blockchain network like polygon solana ethereum so those who have built this blockchain network they are called core blockchain developer okay so they work on the architecture the consensus layer and the protocol behaviors okay so if you are interested in that field you can definitely become a core blockchain developer for that you have to learn about c++ is the powerful language which most of the blockchains are built right now so you can take that path but in this video i will focus more on the blockchain software developer because many of you guys are watching my channel and build whatever project we have built so far that's totally related to the blockchain software developer okay so blockchain is already there we are utilizing those blockchain to build application on top of that so that's what we're going to talk about in this video that how you can become a better blockchain developer blockchain software developer and what is the complete roadmap for you because the reason why I'm making this dedicated video because many of you guys have asked me that what step to follow, what are the skills you need to have, okay? And many of you have given me very <laughs> weird suggestion that should I avoid this to become a blockchain developer, okay? So, this, so there are certain guidelines, certain requirement you have to follow to become a blockchain developer. Talk about that, what are the skills you need to have to become a blockchain software developer? So the first and the foremost thing I want to highlight here is that you can't negotiate with the web 2 technology so whatever you have learned in your web 2 technology like html css javascript frontend and backend if you are good at those skills it becomes very easy for you to switch to web 3 okay because there you're going to use the same web 2 technology and you're going to add some additional layer on that and become a web 3 developer okay so you must have to learn about this technology like you have to know the css you have to know the javascript which is really must and why I'm telling you that JavaScript is so important because all the existing libraries we have like Web3 model, we have EtherJS and other popular libraries which allow you to communicate with the different blockchains. They are written in JavaScript. Okay, so you have to be good in JavaScript. JavaScript is completely mandatory. If you're not good in JavaScript, it's become very hard for you to write the smart contract to connect with the front end. Okay, so you must JavaScript is must. You have to know any one of frame frameworks like whether you can take Next.js, whether you can take React, whether you can take TypeScript, whether you can take Angular. But the most demandable right this moment is TypeScript and Next.js. Okay, so you can pick any one of these or you can take React as well. So for those of you coming from the Web2 space, make sure that you should be very good in all these technologies. You can't negotiate with that because in the industry, you're going to use the same technology to build application on top of that. And now let's come to talk about the Web3 technology that what do you need to learn? So if you want to become a software developer on a blockchain, then obviously you're going to build a smart contract. And for building a smart contract, you have four to five languages, but the most popular language is Solidity. And that one is very commonly used in the industry. Whatever big contracts you can find like Solana and not Solana, uh, like Binance and other contract which have built and running on the ethereum blockchains and different blockchains those all are written in solidity okay so it's very mandatory that you have to learn about the solidity programming language so if you know javascript if you know c++ if you know python then it becomes very easy for you to learn solidity programming language because solidity is an abstraction of these language okay so i believe that you guys have worked on with the javascript so in javascript mainly in ecma 6 you have classes okay so if you understand that how classes work in javascript then it's really very easy for you to switch to solidity because it's very similar you have to follow the same architecture you have to follow the same data structure and that, that's totally depend on the variables okay you will you have access to the variables you will define in the function and you can easily able to have your contract okay so it's become very easy if you are good with ecma 6 in javascript okay so you have to know javascript is must you have to know solidity programming language and after that you have to understand the fundamentals of the blockchain that how the transactions happen 
on the blockchain what is hash generations what algorithm blockchain follow how the transaction get validated how it get added so you have to get familiarized with all the blockchain protocols which is very important you have to know because if you go in the interview definitely they're going to ask you 20 percent question from the blockchain fundamentals which is very important okay they go they will give you a simple like you have to write a code program during the interview session but they will ask you questions related to fundamentals and as a developer of a software on the blockchain you have to know the fundamentals that how the blockchain behave okay then you can create your program and you can customize even in motorway okay so you have to know the fundamentals that what fundamentals goes into the entire blockchain whether you are using polan a polygon solana ethereum different blockchains are there so knowing about the fundamental is very important you have to know that how ethereum work how ethereum work you have to know that how to how the smart contract exactly work okay what is the lifespan of the smart contract what kind of smart contract you can build what kind of program you can run what kind of application you can build so you have to know okay you have to know all of these things you have to know all of these things so this is how you have to proceed first you have to focus on web 2 technology like html css javascript which is very important pick any one of the libraries like react nextjs or typescript if you are good with that then move to the backend part know about the node.js know about express build a backend architecture data model once you are comfortable with this entire backend part in the web 2 space now you can take the switch into the web 3 space okay web 3 space simply build the application around that learn solidity learn about the fundamentals and combine those web 2 and web 3 together and build application okay so just now we have built like nft marketplace so what i have done i have followed the web 3 technology and i have used web 3 technology like fundamentals of the web 3 and i have used the solid smart contract and i've combined together and now our web 3 application is ready so this is how you have to proceed you can't neglect the web 2 completely if it's good then okay but you have to know you have to know web 2 technology that is your 80 percent I, I would say 80 percent and 20 percent is just your smart contract and the fundamentals so you have to go with that so i got a question this morning and he was telling me that he knows css he knows javascript he knows html but he doesn't know any one of these frameworks like react next year's typescript angular can we still become a blockchain developer and start learning about the fundamentals and smart contract development the answer is 100 percent yes you can but you have to understand one thing that right now in the industry whatever application you are seeing all those applications are built on any one of these framework because if you go with the plain css plain html plain javascript you can't able to build a scalable application okay because these libraries provides you a lot of features which you can utilize them and it will make your life very easy when it's come to development part okay it will make your life very easy as a developer okay you can definitely become a blockchain developer using those technology without touching this frameworks but if you start working with this framework you will have a beautiful packages you can utilize those you have a beautiful context api in react next year you can utilize them to build a scalable application okay so i would suggest you that definitely you can start learning learning on this framework as well and along with that you can start learning this web3 technology like sorority smart contract okay these are the two important tools you need to learn to become a smart contract developer okay so once you know the fundamentals about the sorority programming about the blockchains if you know about all of these things start building application don't just watch okay i have seen many of you have watched different channels tutorials you just watch one tutorial move to the another one that's absolutely fine if i put any tutorial you have to watch all of that tutorial but after that what do you do after that try to add some more functionality to that okay because whatever i'm building and you are coding along with me and that i'm building a basic applications i just telling you that what you can do and what are the possibles are the possibilities are there you can add into the application okay so always try to add extra functionality as you have seen that we have built this nft marketplace so there is a lot of things we can do into that okay so we have built a simple smart contract where a user can buy nft sell nft resell nft and do bidding nft okay we can add a lot of functionality okay we can add a lot of functionality into that like we can provide a feature like staking so if someone stake their nft into the contract they will get a reward instead of coin okay so you have to add a functionality like if there is a coin and how can someone can buy the buy the nft with the help of native coin okay so just imagine that that nft marketplace has its native currency 
token okay so if someone have 100 token then how they can utilize this token to buy that nft okay so this kind of functionality you have to come up with you have to be creative okay coding is all about creative you have a problem you you have figured out that this is what i want to build now you have to find out the possible way to solve that particular problem okay so this is how you should prepare yourself to become a successful blockchain developer so first focus on the web2 technology learn about all the basic fundamentals which is the core of the development all the code technology and after that you're going to add this this layers okay like the framework then the solid smart contract then the fundamental and then you build the application on top of that so once you learn all of this after that you start focusing on the testing part of the contract okay because right now you will build the contract you know that how to write a contract to to have a certain functionality which can which can transfer the token which can buy the nft so these are the kind of things you can build but once you understand everything about these fundamentals after that you have to move to the testing part that how you can test that contract which you have written how to find a bug into that how to make a hundred percent secure and how to make it hundred percent industry ready okay so that should be your mind thought okay whenever you write any program any contract don't write it just to make it work okay you have to make it 100% secure then when you you can call yourself a full blockchain developer okay because security if you are good in making smart contracts secure you will get amazingly high pay right now if you just simple search on google that recent hack on a smart contract you will find the billions of dollars have gone lost because of the simple bug which was there in the contract and those hackers manipulated that bug and they just snatch all the money all the tokens from that contract okay so if you are really interested in learning learn about the fundamentals about the web 2 which is very important that will give you a clear idea that how you have to think how the chain work and according to that you can easily able to design the entire protocol of your smart contract the architecture that how data is flowing in that way you can easily able to minimize the cost of the contract because you know when you deploy your contract on the network you have to pay money for that okay so you have to keep that thing as well okay you can learn the language but these are the things you have to add on top of that okay and that will definitely come as long as you will do the practice as long as you will build the project okay so this is what should you be doing okay first focus on the web2 technology focus on html css javascript a pick any framework and pick any backend database i would recommend you to go with the mongodb which is very easy and if you learn mongodb <laughs> you can learn almost everything okay good with the node.js express okay these are the web2 technology once you are done with that come to web3 space learn about solidity learn about fundamentals once you're done with that try to build project on top of that so combine both these technology together and build application on top of that and then move to the testing part of the contract try to hack it try to test try to manipulate okay so i hope this video is already getting very big and that's why i've decided to make a brief discussion that what should be your complete roadmap if you really want to become a full stack blockchain developer okay and that's what you have to focus right now because that's the demand is insanely high if you have built any project make sure to build the project and start applying for the internship and start applying for the job straight away because right now industry need developer and they don't have that so it's a very good time for you for those who have just into the into the into the um, just get into the space of web3 and they have a knowledge and build an application you can straight up apply for that and again i'm telling you i have two biggest project on my channel nft marketplace we have built token creation we have built ico so make sure to build those project that those project because that's going to be a great addition to your portfolio okay if you have an application like that where you have managed the front end back end then you have connected the web3 stake information transferring data so that will give you a very good understanding that how you have to do the architecture both in the front end part both in the back end part and both in the web3 space as well okay so hope you have found this video informative if you still have any question do leave in the comment section i'll try to answer that and that's it have a wonderful day see you next time